Even though I had no way of knowing exactly how old Gary was when we found him, I convinced myself his feathers started coming in three days ahead of schedule. I was as idiotically proud as all those bragging parents I despise when baby learns to flip itself over or eat bananas or whatever. Anything he did, and some he didn't, I took as a sign of progress. How much he ate or didn't, slept or didn't, chirped or didn't, were all reason for celebration and praise. So the sight of him popping his head up over the wicker of his basket and looking around my desk one white bright morning filled me with such joy I leapt out of bed and knocked over a stool. Let me give you the tour, bro, I said to him. That's my fucking stapler right there, vintage. And those are some pencils in a jar, but you don't even need to worry about that. You only need to worry about three things. How to fly, how to hunt, and how to fuck. I clapped and pointed at him. Also how to communicate with your birdie friends and bite dudes' dicks off in the dark, so that's five things. Better get to work. And that's when I started playing him YouTube videos of eagles throwing uh, goats off cliffs and falcons swooping down to eat snakes. One morning, I was showing him a clip of a dolphin with a boner raping a snorkeler. And Gary cocked his head at it, hopped out of his basket nest onto the desk and shit next to my bottle of wood glue. Pay attention, I said. This is important. Around 11, my sister called to the door that I received a package. I told her to come in. Let me guess, I said. It's a dowry from some girls that want to get pregnant by me. I read somewhere that putting egg whites of vaginas helps sperm swim. Works like a luge. She craned her head to read the return address. No, it's from falcongloves.com, she said. Even better, I said, taking it from her. Now get the hell out of here. Gary and I have a lot of training to do today. What kind of training, she asked. Well, I said, Gary's going through puberty right now. And it won't be long before he's enjoying the fruits of adulthood. Flying around, eating berries, making Asian people wear surgical masks. You know. We're just finishing up our morning video tutorials, and then we're going on a field trip to the front lawn. Gary here needs to learn to take care of himself in the wild, so I'm going to let him hop around the grass for a while. She poked Gary's basket with her index finger so it swung like a cradle. That's it? No, I said I might put him on a tree branch too. I don't know yet. Cool, she said, poking his basket again. I want to help. I looked at her face, trying to gauge her sincerity, but got distracted by the tiny blonde hairs running the length of her jaw. Fine, I eventually said. But if you interfere, you're banned. Forever. That day on the lawn, the laughing came easy. Dad went for sandwiches and sodas at the deli, and the three of us sat in the sun watching Gary hop around the grass like a toad between us. We were splayed out, switching from our hands to our elbows and back again, ripping up lawn and tossing it while we told old stories and laughed. I mean, really laughed. For the first time in months, my face hurt. I was in the middle of telling them what I discovered about hooligan penguins gay gangbanging each other when my brother AJ drove in for the long weekend, and then we were all there having a good time together near tulip buds bursting purple. I pointed out their yellow stamens and said flower dicks, while Gary bounced like an idiot machine. AJ couldn't believe he was still alive. What kind of bird is he, you think? He asked. A dragon, I said. Or some kind of raptor. <laughs> Sparrow, my dad said. Osprey, maybe, I said. Murderer of fish. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a sparrow, my brother said. He does look like a sparrow, my sister said. And you guys look like dumb shits that don't know what you're talking about, I said, because sparrows are the Toyota Camrys of birds. <laughs> Every car looks like them, and sometimes they look like minivans. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, my brother said. Yeah, it does, I said. Ford Taurus, Honda Accord, Mercedes-Benz. I can't tell the difference. He has mom's pills hidden in his room, my sister said. They're my inheritance, I said. <laughs> she bequeathed them to me when you guys weren't there, but never mind that. The point I'm trying to make here is that things often look like other things that they're not, like atomic bomb blasts and jellyfish. It's too early to tell what Gary is, and it doesn't even matter because he's imprinted on me. I'm his guardian, confidant, and mentor. You're a gay, my father said. <laughs> and the example I'm setting for him is that of alpha male penguin swan hawk. If I do my job correctly, he'll be capable of amazing sexual and regular style violence on land, sea, air, ice, and telephone pole power lines. I'm talking transgressive and cute. Identify and swoop, seek and destroy. Right, Gary? And at that exact moment, little Gary hopped up onto my knee and moved his head around weirdly, kind of like an Egyptian, and sing song something like, Purdy, 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 wait, 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 what cheer, what cheer, wheat, 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 wheat. All of us oohed and odd. <laughs>